fears. We all have them. Unless they're me. I just dug it out. But having fears as a little kid versus having fears now are two completely different things. See, having fears nowadays, you're more likely to be scared by reasonable stuff like cockroaches. But looking back at the stuff that scared us as kids, you ask yourself, damn. Was I really that big of a bit? But growing up with the internet meant that we were exposed to a lot of stuff, which meant a lot of stuff to get scared by as a kid. And looking back at some of it, it's kind of embarrassing. I'm not like, like, how did I get scared of this? Come on now. Now, if you showed me a video like this when I was younger, I probably would have shit in my pants because I was terrified of Hero Brian. But not only was I scared of Hero Brian, I was scared of cave sounds. I mean, I, I mean, they still kind of get me. I'm not gonna lie. I was scared of Enderman because I thought they were gonna eat me out. Wait, wait, hold. On. I thought they were gonna swallow me. Fuck. I thought they were gonna eat my whole- Wait, what the- But by far, my scariest moment in Minecraft was when I first entered the nether. So let me paint a picture for you. I was seven or eight. I don't know exactly what my age was, but it was before my boss hung low. So that's really all you need to know. And at that time, I didn't know what the nether was. So when I finally found a nether portal, I didn't know what to expect when I went in. As soon as I loaded into the nether, I heard a gas scream at full volume. This shit- was loud i ran out that room like a little bitch man i was terrible bro i definitely soiled my pants bro there's like there's no way there wasn't a wet spot after that <clears throat> but now we're gonna be talking about something that isn't scary creepy pastas now if you guys scared by a creepy pasta how did you get scared by creepy pasta bro like it's on a screen like like, bro, like how do you get scared by that and um if you're trying to argue that i got scared by something that's on a screen shut up but i'm not gonna lie some of them are scary like that one doll video like i'm not gonna lie that I mean, some of them do make me uncomfortable. They make my balls wiggle. But that doesn't stop the fact that if these creepy pauses were real, I just stop them. Now let's take a look at Slenderman. Looking at Slenderman, I can stop him very easily. Like I don't care. He's tall. Yes, I may be like what, like five seven or something. I don't, I don't even know. Hey, that's besides the point. I can still beat Slenderman, bro. Wait, actually, just look at his tentacles, bro. And I'm not gonna lie, Slenderman better be scared of what I'm about to do to him. And another one that I could easily beat is Smile Dog. He's just a dumbass dog. Like, he can have this meat. Wait, wait, no, 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 no. I mean, like, you can, like, get some meat and just throw it on the floor. He's gonna eat it. And while he's distracted eating, you can escape or you can knock his punk ass out. Um, but actually, according to the Creepypasta Wiki, Smile Dog is actually an image. Shut the fuck up. Listen, I do not care what these creepy pastas can do. Because when the time comes, I'm going to have liberty and freedom on my side. Um, Slenderman is actually a bully. Oh my god! Shut up! I'm going to touch you. Stop talking. I don't care about the creepy pasta lore. Wait, did I just have an argument with myself? Wait, what the fuck? But on a serious note, there is good creepy pastas like Slenderman, bro. Like, that's actually a good quality one. But then there's ones that just aren't good there's one that i remember getting a lot of attention back in the day and it used to scare me personally like the video was unsettling the story surrounding it scared me but looking back on the story it was just a pile of hot stinky shit the story is basically about the video that you're seeing on screen how it caused 153 people to opt out of life by scooping out their eyeballs and mailing it to youtube now back then i used to lose sleep over this but now I don't really got a joke to make. It's just a terrible creepypasta. But you want to know what still makes me lose sleep every night? The man behind every nightmare I have? Shrek. I legitimately used to be terrified of Shrek. And if you ask me why, I genuinely wouldn't be able to answer that. I really don't know why. This fear got so bad to the point that when somebody wanted to watch Shrek on the TV in front of me, they would ask me, is it okay? Like, the fuck you mean, is it okay? Do I look like a pussy to you? But seriously, was anybody else scared of Shrek when they were younger? I need someone to relate to. Comment down below if you were scared of Shrek too. And if I find people making fun of my fear of Shrek, I'ma ban you. Keep playing with me. That's really all I gotta talk about. Daddy has to go because he has money to make.